Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway from the Superdome. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Breeze now on first down. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Breeze to throw on second down. Forced out to his left. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. And him running the football is not something that defenses spend a lot of time preparing for. But this guy has a survival instinct and a knack for knowing when exactly to do it. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Breeze. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. How about the timing on that one, where they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Looking to throw. Ingram. And that's complete. It's Watson. Touchdown, New Orleans. Benjamin Watson. 42 yards. And the Saints have taken the early lead. It's never any fun, Brandon, when you're the defensive team and the first drive of the game, you give up a touchdown. The key is not to get down. Make those adjustments and come back for your next series with the intent of shutting them down. Lutz now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. Here's Jackson. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure. But it falls incomplete. And it's second down. That one was intended for John Brown. And it's third down. From the gun, Jackson. He's got his man on the crossing route. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. Here we go on fourth down with Jackson. A right side catch by Crabtree. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. All right, here we go. Three, nine. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. All right, here we go. On second down, here's Jackson. Got it complete to Crabtree. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know. And, and he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. Second quarter now, Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. It's the Ravens who have the football. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. They converted once earlier in this drive, but they'll roll the dice here again on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. Incomplete. The linebacker, Demario Davis, got a hand in to break that one up. Well, Charles, a little bit earlier, you were talking about the first time that the Saints and Eagles met up earlier this season as we think about their upcoming playoff game, which you will be calling, by the way. But 48-7 was the final in Week 11. What are the keys in this upcoming game? Well, for New Orleans, an intact offensive line would be a great start. They were dinged up a little bit down the stretch. Their ability to run the football with Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara allows Drew Brees to make those throws downfield to guys like Mike Thomas and make the big plays and, of course, swing it out to Kamara out of the backfield. On the defensive side of the ball, their ability to pressure Nick Foles will actually be a key in this game. Cam Jordan, their all-pro defensive end, will have a big hand in that. To throw his hill, flush to his right. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Throwing on third down, Hill. He hits his target, left side, Watson. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. All right, now look at this. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they set it with a chuck. And this is caught. So he fakes the spike, and they get the touchdown.